Now, please don't all lie to your pitchforks at once, but I don't think the garden skates mechanics in Plants vs Zombies 3 are as bad as they've been made out to be. Part of me quite enjoys being able to customise my garden, especially when adorable baby plants are involved. What I do have a problem with is how heavily the game focuses on these mechanics. It feels very disjointed and doesn't elevate the tower defense gameplay in any shape or form. I think that is both a huge mistake and a wasted opportunity to make a really interesting and enjoyable system. I personally think the Gardenscape's features of the game could work quite well, but there are a number of changes that I think are vital to achieve this. Hear me out. As I just mentioned, the biggest issue I have is that the Gardenscape's mechanic feels completely detached from the rest of the game. So, to fix this, I propose that each visual option or each garden plot should come with an effect, a bonus that actually impacts plants and the gameplay mechanics. Essentially, for those of you who have played Skyrim or pretty much any RPG, I think each garden plot or object should be a skill tree, essentially. So, let's take the Sunflower Nursery as as an example, we have three options here. Option 1 could increase sun production speed by 10%. Option 2 could increase sunflower HP by 100 points. And option 3 could allow you to start each level with one pre-planted sunflower on the lawn. These options could go a step further. The effects could drastically affect core mechanics. I personally prefer significant changes. A 20% bonus to this, a 5% bonus to that definitely has its place, but I also think it can come across as lazy and players don't then really see the effects of their decision making. Maybe there could be a stuffy flower sunflower nursery option that prevents sunflowers from producing sun over time and instead sunflowers will now shoot sunbursts that cause zombies to drop sun when defeated or a twin sunflower plot which would allow you to plant one sunflower on top of another to create a twin sunflower. The possibilities are endless and could be super interesting. All of this encourages replayability and increases player choice. You actually have a valid gameplay reason to choose one visual over another rather than the one that just looks the best. It also allows an additional use of in-game currency which I'll move on to shortly. Now I think these changes could already make a massive improvement to the Gardenscape's mechanics, but I think I can do even better. Firstly, I suggest allowing players to choose from at least five visual options for each plot in their garden instead of the current three. Three just isn't enough. Additionally, these visuals should have a tier or level system, allowing further upgrades. Imagine a system similar to the silver, gold, diamond, gem visuals in Garden Warfare 2. And these can be improved either by spending in-game currency, or what I think would work better is by completing challenges either in the main story missions or what I think could work even nicer is specific challenge levels or a series of quest levels let's say. So now that we have garden plot skill trees and a tier system for further upgrading and progression let's talk about the in-game store. Now, at the moment, the shop, which isn't called Crazy Dave's Twinkie Dinkies, PopCap, I am very disappointed that you didn't call it that. It just contains the silly microtransactions. Seriously, who's going to pay $74.99 for coins? And it also includes the power-ups. But I propose some additions that should be added to the shop to enhance players' experience. In the shop, I think you should be able to purchase garden accessories. Now, garden accessories are objects that can be added into your garden that come with further bonuses. While these effects will be really useful, you will only be able to fill a maximum of five garden accessory slots. Similar to the new Prince of Persia game that features an amulet system, on your travels you come across different charms, totems and objects you can equip to your amulet to gain benefits. You start with five slots and different amulet accessories cost varying amounts of amulet slots. The same could work for garden accessories. These accessories should use up different numbers of slots depending on their power. Although you can only fill a total of five garden accessory slots, you have the option to chop and change these whenever you like, creating a loadout system if you will. I also think the store should sell Dave Tech gadgets, powerful items with significant effects but come with a negative effect as well. For example, a robotic Dave Tech shovel that significantly increases all plant toughness but prevents the regular shovel's use, meaning any plant you put down can no longer be dug up. 
Finally, I believe the visual gardenscapes element in your yard should be reflected in levels. For example, garden plots that are plant specific, like the pea shooter nursery, should change the visual appearance of that specific plant in game. If it increases pea shooter health, your pea shooters in game should now come equipped with a protective helmet. So yeah guys, that's my thoughts on how to fix the gardenscapes elements of Plants vs Zombies 3. I'm really interested to hear your thoughts on this, so let me know in the comments below. But other than that, remember to like and subscribe, and I shall see you in the next one. Okay, thanks guys, bye.